What's up guys, today I'm going to talk to you about flexi records. If you've never seen a flexi record before, well, here's one right here. You can tell probably just from looking at it why they're called flexi records. They are flexible. This is vinyl, it's just super, super, duper thin. And you know, the properties make it almost papery, sort of a rubbery paper. Uh, but it is a record in the very you know, traditional classical sense. It has the grooves cut into it. It's single-sided. Although you can sort of you can sort of see the grooves through the back, but you can't actually play that side. That's just sort of the outline of the grooves that are kind of cut to the front. This particular one here is Sir Menelik with Grand Puba and Sadat X of Grand Nubian, of course. Uh, song is 7XL from Sound Bombing. It's a sort of a promotional item to advertise uh, the sort of mixtape album compilation on Raucous Records. Um, from the 90s. So, and, and yeah, they generally tend to be promotional items, usually because the sound quality is a little bit dicey. Um, I mean, like all records, it depends on the pressing, but because they're so thin, you really can't cut the grooves very deep. So even a really good flexi, and certainly newer ones, and you know, if, when they spend the money, they sound better than a lot of them. Uh, but they'll never really sound as good as a 12-inch, because again, they can't cut the grooves in that deep, it's very, very shallow. No, because it's just a little flexi record. But again, the good ones can sound pretty good, and certainly uh, because of their rarity, as they're usually just promo items, they can often get to be kind of, uh, you know, collectible and exclusive. So, okay, I'll show you a couple more. Uh, we got, how about the Hits Remedial Jug Band and the Redneck Jamboree? Um, you might ask yourself, what kind of crazy, goofy, country-western <laughs> record have I got myself here? But no, this is uh, actually... Dust Brothers fans should note this is one of their projects right there, produced and handled by the Dust Brothers. Of course, the group that produced like Tone Loke when he first blew up Young MC. So this is a really weird, goofy side project for them. Sort of like, uh, I guess, like when the BC Boys did their country western things. Remember, uh, Mike D had a country western album. This is a classic old school one. This right here is Blondie featuring Fab Five Freddy from 1981, I believe. Uh, and you'll see they're all not necessarily square. This one's round. I also believe this one is two sided, if you can believe it. Um, there are a couple different pressings uh, of different colored vinyls, but the blue one, I believe, is the original. And because they're promotional items, they tend to be more goofy commercial kinds of things, like this uh, Cooking with Alf record. This is a little rap record. Uh, you see, it's got this tag here on the bottom. This is actually meant to be torn off. I just kept it on there to sort of keep it collectible. Uh, this came out back in the 80s or early 90s. Burger King gave these out, um, you know, with like their equivalent of a Happy Meal. Uh, with hand puppets, so you'd have a, uh, see how he's, Alf is cooked in, is wearing like a cooking hat and apron and all? So you get an Alf hand puppet with the apron and the hat and all, like a chef, and this record, and then there's like four or five of them, and like, so one, he's like a rock star, he's got a heavy metal guitar and like a mohawk, uh, but that one wasn't really rapish. This is more hip-hop one, that's why I got this one. And you might say there's no hole here, but actually there is. Like this is meant to be torn off, you're actually meant to punch out the hole. Again, I just sort of left it in there, sort of keeping it new. How about this one, a flexi picture disc? Actually, I guess the Alpha one was also a uh, picture disc, because again, the image goes over the grooves of the record. Uh, this again is actually a rap song, believe it or not. I'm not even going to attempt to describe this record, but <laughs> there you go. One thing you might notice about flexi discs, by the way, uh, is most of them tend to have these little circle things right here, and what it's telling you to do is put a penny on there. And that's because when you put this on the turntable and, the, and then the needle on this, because these records are so light, the needle will just, like, so when it spins, when the turntable spins underneath it, sometimes the needle will just kind of wind up being a weight on it that holds it down. And so it'll play slow, or it won't spin properly, you know, it's kind of like... Rrr. So the putting the penny on there just makes the record a little bit heavier, so it'll spin with the turntable and not be held back by the needle. And flexi records are still coming out today. Uh, two labels really are kind of keeping them alive, at least in hip-hop, and that would be Redef Records and Slice of Spice Records. And both of them have been doing some stuff for like KDEF, I got one right here. There are like 250 press of these. Uh, there are two exclusive instrumentals, they're only on this little flexi disc, uh, but it's basically given out for free to promote one of the many KDEF full-length projects that uh, Slice of Spice and Redef have been putting out of all his instrumentals, both from the 90s and new stuff. Uh, and as ever with KDEF, he's a really dope producer and he's a pretty solid beast. I mean, I'm not a huge instrumental head, but certainly this is really good production and interesting to have as an exclusive on a Flexi. I mean, some people don't like uh, exclusive materials on Flexi, again, because the sound quality isn't 100%. This is a little bit thicker too, um, you'll notice, than 
but this is much lighter and this is about twice as thick so sound quality is definitely a little bit better here slice of spice you know they kind of put the money into making the best possible products um, but the reason why so heads won't like an exclusive on flexi is that means it's still even at this is not really a hundred percent high compared to like a 12 inch which means the music itself if it's only on this has never been released in full sound quality so that's you know always a little bit disappointing also you'll notice that these are the size of like a 45 they don't necessarily have to be that's the standard and pretty much every flexi i've seen has been about the size of a 45 record like this would be a 45 if you cut out the excess square bits but um in theory i guess there's no reason why it could be the size of a 10 inch or a five inch or anything else. Nowadays these are really pretty rare and only a few labels like Slice of Spice are keeping them alive. There's probably also sort of like punk rock alternatives and stuff in the other genres. But they're really pretty rare. Back in the days they're a bit more common again because they're just freebies and you could rely on people having record players. You know I mean so you could get a pretty common magazine and it would have a little cutout record and lots of people will get it and play it. You know Burger King gave it out with meals. That wasn't rare. Who ate at Burger King? Everybody. You know, I mean, you could just count on kids to have record players. You could just count on families to have record players, like having them on today to have computers or televisions. So, you know, they can be fun to collect. You certainly wouldn't want to have an entire record collection just made up of these, uh, because, again, sound quality not 100%. Although, on the other hand, storage is <laughs> super easy. You could have, like, a billion of them, and they'd only stack like this time. So, anyway, I just thought it'd be fun to talk about, you know, I figure a lot of you heads that watch my videos, especially, you know, younger kids today, probably never even seen a Flexi record or really knows what a Flexi record is. Maybe you hear it referenced, like, on a store, like, oh, Slice of Spice put out a Flexi. You'd be like, well, what exactly is that? Well, that's what they are. Uh, they're pretty fun. So, thanks for watching. Peace out.